Okay, this is a DD Amanda analysis of finger F N G R apes versus shorts. Now, there's been some real, real crazy stuff going on here. Um, first of all, right here we have a 62.62 200 day low, okay, which showed up on a scan. And then three days later we have a 16 factor, which also showed up on a scan, which means that she traded 16 times what she normally trades. Which then went to 108 factor, six million dollars. And Friday she traded 88 million dollars, a 200 day high of course. And what we have here, um, let me, let's talk about the drag. Now drag is a proprietary indicator from DD Amanda and it shows the resistance to price movement. And there's an up drag and a down drag. And the ratio between the two is here is 0 0.01, which is as low as you can get, okay? Um, which, what it really means is that there is way, way, way more resistance to the stock going up than there is to the stock going down, okay? For instance, this is your up drag. Five days ago, the up drag or resistance to going up was 49. The next day it went to 289. Then it went to 1136. Then it went to 5000. And on Friday, it maxed out at 999. You can't get any higher. Now, what this means is that the resistance to the stock going up has been increasing radically. And that could be attributed to this data, okay? On 9.15, they had 12,000 short. On 9.29, Thursday, that went up to 957,000. And on Friday, you got 12 million short, kids, on this stock. In other words, that's why the uh, drag is so high, okay? Now, you look at the volume here, you got uh, 32 million shares traded, okay, which is quite a bit. Now, let's look at the actual security details at OTC markets. You got <laughs> 200 million uh, authorized, 43 million outstanding, which it almost traded, <laughs> only 10 million short, and we have a float. Now, at DD Amanda, the way we look at float is if if it's unrestricted, it's basically in the float. Okay, so you got your 43 million here, outstanding. You got 27 million restricted. You got 16 million unrestricted. We consider that the float. Okay, even though officially it says 4 million, but that's from you know a year ago. So 16 million float. And she traded 32 million. Holy crap, right? Traded twice the float, as far as we know. So what we have here is a situation, okay? As this stock went up, okay, the shorts started piling on, okay? Uh, but she fought her way through it. On Thursday, the drag was 5,000. And on Friday, it doubled. It actually doubled, or more than double because I don't know we don't know what the drag is so what we have here is a battle between the apes and the shorts the shorts are way way extended and the question now becomes whether or not the apes can overcome that and make this stock go up which will put the shorts in an even worse position okay now why is this stock running so hard um, they have a guaranteed revenue stream coming up from uh, every cell phone sold in China, basically, which gives them, uh, they're going to do an insurance deal on this. They're going to insure these phones. So every month they're going to get a little piece of the monthly fees from the carrier, 
which will cover their insurance premiums, okay? Which turns into uh, uh, quite a nice revenue stream. I mean, it's huge. So, you know, this isn't just a, sh a short squeeze, pump and dump type of thing. This company actually has some pretty amazing fundamentals behind it. So, keep that in mind. Now, there's another stock that I'm going to do a video on also, where the apes apparently won. All right. And that stock is GTII. And I'm just going to show you guys uh, the highlights on this. We have a similar situation here with uh, FNGR. But look at this drag here, okay? The same thing's happening here. Uh, started off five days ago at 1300 moved to 5000 went to max. Maxed out two days in a row, Wednesday and Thursday. But they broke through on uh, Friday. They they she went up 74 percent here. Traded uh, you know 30 36 million dollars. This one showed up on some scans also. Uh, it showed up here as a 14 factor, and it showed up here as a 44 factor uh, last week. Um, it showed up on scans. But here you see what happened here. They broke through. Uh, the apes broke through, broke the shorts. I don't know what's going to happen now, but they they went right through it. So, uh, looking back at Finger, I mean, Finger had a, an amazing day on Friday, you know, up 82%. Uh, your drag is maxed out. If they can pull it off, you know, it's going to be very, very freaking amazing. Now, I want to tell you a story about a little stock that we found about a week ago. And... It's a Canadian company. It trades as VCT on the, you know, Canadian exchange, um, Volt Carbon Technologies, and on the OTC it trades as TORVF, okay? Now this came up on a scan, and we started looking into it a little bit and realized that, holy crap, this is a great company. Um, they have the tip, <laughs> they're the tip of the spear on lithium battery tech. Uh, it's founded by the world leader in battery tech. I mean, a Chinese guy. This guy is just insane. Hugely qualified. Uh, the company is run by PhDs. They have zero convertible debt. All their financing is either personal checks written by management. In fact, one director threw in $2, $2 million of his own money. And they have uh, private placements, options, and warrants. Uh, she's OTCQB rated. Um, the outstanding is 153, floats 109, um, and she's trading at six cents. I mean, guys, this is a dollar stock easily. So check it out. Uh, we have an iHub board with tons of DD. I mean, these guys are really impressive. Here's their website: voltcarbontech.com. Now, most of you are probably wondering what the hell Didi Amanda is. <laughs> and a lot of years ago, when I was, you know, I was looking around for scanners and tools to help me trade, I, I couldn't find anything that was, that did all the things that I wanted it to do. And I've, I've been programming all my life, so I decided to write one. And I came up with DD Amanda. Now, at first, this was a desktop application. You had to actually download it and install it. And I turned it on to a few guys, a few traders, and they, you know, fucking loved it. So they uh, insisted that I, <laughs> that I bring it live online, and that's what I finally did. Um, it's it's a lot of information. This looks really intimidating, but it, it's very simple to use. Um, we have a scanner that, uh, with several scans, actually 35 of them, where you can look for different things, okay? Um, you can select the price range. I remember back in the day, that the best you could do was stocks less than $5. Well, that doesn't help you much with OTC. So we actually have a price range that you can put in, like from $0.05 cents to $0.10, cents, from $0.01 cent to $0.05, cents, uh, from one dollar to five dollars, etc., and we track and we go by dollars traded. Um, like I said earlier, 
volume is meaningless unless you put it in context with the price. Just like here on G, you know, GTII, your volume hasn't really done anything. But look at the look at the dollars traded. You know, uh, that tells you something. That's valuable information. Um, some of the other stuff on here, we have a mini chart which changes. Like here's your 90. If you just click on it, uh, it changes. Like there's your 90 day. Uh, this is what happened on Friday, uh, real uh, intraday, and then you have your 30-day. This program was written um, for maximum usability. Okay, there's no little like if you want to change a scanner field, you just change it and click outside, and it changes it. There's no like processes you have to go through. Are you sure you want to change the pro you know that bullshit? So once you get used to it, um, it, it all makes sense. So what we have here is, you know, we also have 200 days worth of price data, okay? So you can go back 200 days and, uh, you know, see if somebody front-loaded or whatever. Uh, we also have some DD buttons. Like, if you want to see a chart, all you have to do is push a button. Uh, here's your RSI for the last five days. Your Williams, um, you know, your drag, we talked about that earlier. Channel days, how long? How many days she's been in a channel? Trend days, five. Well, she's been in an uptrend for five days. And you can scan on all of this stuff. These are all scan parameters. So anyway, if you want to uh, check her out, uh, it's ddamanda.com. And uh, there's, uh, if you go to that page, you'll see some testimonials. And every one of those is 100% legit. Over the years, as people have said good things, I've grabbed it and, and thrown it on there. So anyway, uh, I think uh, she would really help you make money, which is her sole purpose, is to help guys make money. Uh, we have great support. My phone number's everywhere, so you can call anytime. Um, we got some great traders in the Telegram room that'll all help. Uh, we're like a little family where we all help each other to make money. Anyway, check it out. And last but not least, uh, I kind of don't like to ask people to like a video or to subscribe. I think that's presumptuous. I mean, some channels, they tell you right at the beginning, you know, subscribe, you know, like this video, and you haven't even seen the damn thing yet. But anyway, somebody's been mentioning lately I should you know remind people to like the video which is the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to so I thought I would mention that okay it's <laughs> this is it the weekend's almost over have a good time guys